Hey, what's up guys? I'm Lan here. Welcome back to a new video on my channel. In this video, we're going to talk about iOS 15.6 beta 2 update on my iPhone XR. So as you can see from the screenshot itself, the update came in about 452.8 MB on my iPhone XR. So in this video, we're going to talk about what's new in this update and whether you should install iOS 15.6 beta 2 if you're already on beta 1. So let's get this video started. But before that, if you're new here and happen to enjoy this kind of videos on my channel i would request you to subscribe to the channel and also give this video a thumbs up that would actually motivate me a lot now with that being said let's get right into the video all right guys so the first things first let me go to the settings and let me go to the general and about section if i tap on the version as you can see the new build number is 19g 5037d so the letter D in the end, it denotes that there are a couple of betas that could be probably released in future before we get to see the stable release. But with this update, there is no new modem firmware. So before updating, the modem firmware was 4.0, 4.01. And after updating as well, the modem firmware is same. So if you are on iOS 15 beta profile installed, then only you would be able to sort of see this update. Otherwise, you need to first install beta profile on your iPhone then only you can get this update. So now let's talk about what's new with this update. So there are no features or UI changes probably at this point of time. We all know that we would be getting sort of like uh, iOS 16 beta 1 on June 6th. That is just a week away from now. So there are no new changes, but there are some, you know, code changes in, in between the iOS softwares that would actually help Apple released the iOS 16 in a better way. So let's talk about one more thing as well. So people were talking a lot about iPhone storage. So this is a 64 GB iPhone 10 I have been using this for last three years and people have been seeing a iPhone storage issue. I think so it has been sorted with iOS 15.5, but still there are some people, they have been commenting on my videos that they get to see iOS storage issue. So if I come down, as you can see, after using this device, for some time so as you can see there are two things iOS data and system data so if I take a look at the system data it would be somewhere between 5 to 10 gigabyte on my usage it takes a lot of time to load initially if you click on the iPhone storage but when it generates it generates a huge amount of storage for some people and for that people are you know getting afraid like you know the most of the storage space has been using by iOS data or something like that but nothing to worry about as you can see it is still loading but once it loads it will show you all the system data i mean it has been totally managed by ios you don't have a control over that but if you want actually you can delete your browser like uh, safari cache and things like that and can manage a little bit about ios system data so that thing is that let me know if you have been facing this iphone storage issue and it has been taking a large chunk of data on your iphone too now talking about other things let's talk about the battery life as well this is not my primary phone before talking about the battery life let's go to the battery health as you can see after updating as well the battery health has been 89 percent so that means the battery health has not dropped after updating to ios 15.6 beta 2 and as you can see from the graph itself so this is not my primary phone but generally with ios 15.5 the phones have been using it on i am actually not happy with the battery life because ios 15.5 for me actually it's it's not uh, really good in terms of battery i hope ios 15.6 or the next update so that would have sort of good, like good battery life so fingers crossed for that so then again also talking about the performance the performance is really good with iphone 10r actually there is no issue with the performance as well for your reference i have ram the geekbench 5 score so as you can see the single core score for me is 1106 and the multi core score is 2216 it's a respectable score and i've compared this with the last last iOS 15.6 beta 1 score it's uh, you know nearly matching about and the single score score is little less while the multi core score is little high so it's near about the same let me know if you have Geekbench 5 and if you have run that on your iPhone 10R. so let me know what scores you are seeing on your phone so this was a small update as you saw that it came in about 400 to 500 MB probably if you have a different iPhone so updates would be between 400 to 500 MB so mind you again
then if you have a beta profile installed then only you would be able to see this update otherwise not so with this video i just wanted to let you know that apple has released ios 15.6 beta 2 so don't expect new features with this update it, it's just an update probably apple has fixed some bugs here and there and you know security fixes are of course which hasn't been released in the apple release notes so then again with the help of this video i wanted to let you know that ios 15.6 beta 2 has been released let me know in the comment section whether have you updated your device to ios 15.6 betas or if you're still on ios 15.5 and i will see you on my next video Bye bye